Hi Scorpio, how are you doing? I hope all is well as always. I hope you are in high spirits. Scorpio, this is your another reading for April, but this time we will be doing the opportunity challenge advice spread for you. So let's get straight um, into it. Uh, this is still a general reading and it can apply to any area of your life. So take the messages as they resonate for you and don't be afraid to interpret them uh, in tune with your own intuition. Okay. So Scorpio, let's see what do we have for you. What is your key opportunity in the month of April? We have the moon. An opportunity to... F I don't want to say face your deepest fears. I think you already faced them, but actually to fully feel them in order to heal them. Okay, so your opportunity is is the opportunity to to heal your deepest fears. What is the challenge? What is the challenge? The tower. Initiating the change, liberating yourself. What is your advice? The chariot. Scorpio, I cannot make this up. You have three major arcanas on the table. That is powerful. April is a powerful month for you. And I said that in your April reading, the previous one that I did. If you haven't seen it, I really encourage you to, um, to check it out. Because um, April truly is uh, one of the most powerful months in uh, in 2022 for you for other signs as well but i really see for you it's a powerful month it's one of the most powerful months and it's like the beginning uh of of a huge journey a new cycle for you a new phase of life you have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck celebration laying solid grounds it can be like a ceremony of some kind sometimes referred to as 11 11 so it's like the portal and i just said you're closing up a major cycle moving to a new one so it makes perfect sense that new cycle new phase of life that you're entering is laid or based on solid ground solid foundations it's full of celebration i also feel your spirit guides angels however you call those higher powers that you believe in are cheering up and celebrating for you uh, that you made it here scorpio and that you are moving through that portal uh, so that really makes me happy mm. The four of wands can be a card of ceremony, can be like a wedding, but I'm really not getting um, that vibe uh, from this reading, even though it may be uh, applicable to some of you out there. Now, I said your opportunity is the deepest healing and you can see the moon, but behind the moon, there's always the sun, right? And the rays of sun are huge. Uh, like you, you, you know, it's there. You know good things. Sun represents all the good things that life has to offer. The happiest card in the tarot deck. You can already see. You can sense. Almost almost like sense it on your skin. Even though it's still nighttime. You know the sun is there. But the question is. Are you ready to really face those fears. In order to like feel them to the fullest. To heal and release them. Once and for all. It's almost like. You know, Scorpio, healing is a process and it's not happening once in our lifetime. We go through healing uh, multiple times and it's not the last time you're going through it. But this time I feel you have the opportunity to close out a major healing cycle. One that, that lasted for the last couple of years. Uh, and I'm a Scorpio, so I'm also saying this from my own experience. Uh, like last couple of years um, have been truly the time of facing fears and fighting uh, to to heal and release them and that is your opportunity in april is to exactly do that it's like the last step uh last push that is needed for you the rays of sun are so big you can already feel them on your skin but there's like this last step uh, or last couple steps that you need to take on that path of darkness um, that leads to that light okay it's like immersing yourself uh once again in those healing waters so perhaps it's about you allowing yourself scorpio to feel all the emotions that are coming your way in april not blocking them not trying to avoid them not pretending they don't exist it's about allowing yourself to feel everything that comes your way and even if it makes you sad even if it makes you cry again and i just saw four 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 um at, at the timer so um a powerful number you may want to check out that meaning 
Are you ready to take that last step, immerse yourself in those feelings and that will bring you that ultimate healing that you're looking for? And that makes perfect sense with the Tower card. And this is your card, Scorpio. Tower is your energy. Um, it's about you initiating the change. So that's exactly what I just said. Are you ready to take that last step or couple steps? Are you ready to initiate that change and liberate yourself? from any uh, outdated forms that need to go down, from your own self-imposed liberations that you have put on yourself, whether in your mind space, in your beliefs, in your heart and soul, maybe physical, you name it. You know your situation best. Are you ready to initiate that change? Even though it will be intensive, it will be intense, it may be uh, you may feel it like an upheaval, your ground may be shaking, but with the Four of Wands, I said, your new life is built on solid foundations, and this tower also stands on solid ground. Even if it goes down, the solid ground still remains, and you can build on it. So, Scorpio, I'm going to ask this question once again. Are you ready to initiate that change and liberate yourself from those restrictions, and specifically the restrictions of fear? that is still somewhere hindering in your soul, in your mind, you have the beautiful opportunity to release that fear once and for all, but you need to initiate the change. If you wait for external circumstances to initiate it for you, or like divine intervention, it's going to come sooner or later, but then it will feel like an earthquake. When you initiate the change, it will still be intense, but at least you have an opportunity to control. It's like a controlled demolition of the tower, rather than something uh, that, that you cannot control and that you just have to face as it is, okay? Your advice with the chariot, just move forward bravely, Scorpio, just do it. <laughs> you are in control. When you are in control, you can do a controlled demolition of any outdated forms that need to go down to free yourself, the authentic, beautiful, new version of you that that wants to emerge so bad from that darkness to the light it wants to come out celebrate the true beautiful and happy and creative and fulfilled version of you the chariot tells you go for it head on and the chariot is a fast-paced energy so it's not about brick by brick taking the wall down the chariot actually tells you just like do it intensively as I said, head on, just face it and move forward. You control the situation, provided that you don't give away that control to your fears, represented by the moon, right? You control the situation, you choose the direction, uh, where you want to go, how you want to get there, and you have all the tools and resources, physical, mental, spiritual, creative, to maintain the direction that you choose for you. And what you choose for you, Scorpio, is happiness. You want it. You want a stable life but you can only build that stable life when you crush that tower and build on those solid grounds but not a tower but perhaps a beautiful home and that home is a metaphor when when we are at home we are in alignment with ourselves right our home is us um, in that metaphoric way so to build your life the way you want to be not to live in the tower that that you have put yourself in or um, perhaps it's society or some kind of like b beliefs or religious factors for some or limitations, but you don't want to live in that, that stone cold tower, right? You want this, you want stability, celebration, you want to cherish and enjoy life. So just do it. There's nothing on your way that stops you except for yourself and your fears, Scorpion. Faith. Keep holding the vision. Don't give up. Dream your seeds into existence. Water your seeds with faith and love and hope. And let's pull one more, Scorpio. If you enjoyed this reading, I am warmly inviting you to like, subscribe. Um, I really love interacting with you, so if you want to leave a comment, that's more than welcome as well. Don't allow the glass bubble to restrict you and your potential. The tower can be like the glass bubble, right? Don't allow the glass bubble to restrict you and your potential. You can achieve great things, Scorpio. The only limitations that, that, that you have are self-imposed. 
okay so i'll leave it there scorpio please take care of yourself and i will see you soon bye bye